Good evening. Thanks for joining us. We begin with a major investigation in northern B.C. where a number of emergency service vehicles have been torched. Investigators believe it was a targeted attack. And tonight, the community fears the crime is linked to the coastal gas link pipeline. CTV's Alyssa Thibault joins us with more. Alyssa, what are you learning from police in Smithers? Well, the Meijang, this happened in a parking lot where, of a hotel where eight emergency services vehicles were set on fire. That includes RCMP crews and an ambulance. Now, Mounties say the fire started around 4.30 this morning at the Sunshine Inn. This video from social media shows flames ripping through several vehicles and then in the light of day, you can see the extent of the damage. RCMP vehicles, an ambulance, a conservation vehicle and one belonging to BC Hydro. No one was hurt, but investigators believe this was a targeted attack, prompting this response from the Public Safety Minister. What took place this is absolutely uh, reprehensible and disgraceful. It's criminal activity. The police are going to investigate. And I hope the individuals are caught and prosecuted. The local MLA is linking the arson to this attack in February. About 20 people stormed the coastal gas link property near Houston and swung axes at vehicles. At the time, CGL said the site was blocked by fallen trees, fires and tire spikes and no arrests were ever made. MLA Ellis Ross says his community believes this new attack is related to the pipeline project. I've been reading the, the Smithers Community Watch page on Facebook and that's what the lot of commentary was talking about in, in terms of this was targeted to RCMP vehicles. And it only stands to reason, uh, given that the, nothing was done for the eco-terrorist activities on the pipeline workers, that these eco-terrorists are feeling emboldened. And we just received a statement from the parent company of Coastal GasLink, TC Energy. They say out of an abundance of caution, we have enhanced security measures at our work sites in the area. Now, I also spoke with Smithers RCMP about those allegations of so-called eco-terrorists. They just reiterated that this is a targeted attack but couldn't say any more. They are asking for any witnesses and anyone with video footage to come forward. Mija? All right, thank you, Alyssa.